All right, man, torture talk, 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock show, I'm back, popping my collar, I'm here. I'm here, baby, I'm here, 12 o'clock show. All right, look, man, so today we're going to talk about academics actually admitting that Drake has fell off. And um, we're going to get into that, man. So look, this is torture talk. You know, you know, you know the spill. Like, share, subscribe to the page if you're new here. You know what I'm saying? All the beautiful, sexy ladies, they always put one in the chat. All the fellas, they know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links on the screen, cash at PayPal's in the description, all that good stuff. Let me know where you're from. They call me the hidden gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 11,000, a million by Monday morning. So look, man, we're going to get right into this, man, because, uh, you know, this comes courtesy of never, never gave up. So we'll be back. <laughs> All right, so let's go. Twelve o'clock. Let's go. This is what y'all wanted from me. Is this what y'all wanted? Y'all wanted me to come and report that the goat is falling off. <laughs> that the numbers, the numbers, not hitting the same. <laughs> I mean, what? I I don't know. Maybe he's joking. I don't know. <laughs> what I don't understand is why is everybody so obsessed with numbers with Drake? Is that their only argument? I don't know. But let's keep it going. Uh, like the video and subscribe, please. So, um, Drake's streak of appearing on the Billboard Hot 100 has uh, ended. For the first time in over two years, there are no Drake songs or features charted in the Billboard Hot 100 this week. He's previously charted every week since April 2022. So Drake has charted literally for over 100 weeks. And, you know, whether he was on a feature with someone or he had an original song, we do know in, in that span. I think he put out two albums, um, but he does his feature run and he's always had like a song in that Hot 100, right? Now, people are wondering, is Drake falling off? Is the run of Drake over? I, I do want to be very honest. And, you know, for you K-Bots, don't clip me. Just get out of here. I ain't really talking to y'all. But I'm, I'm, I am going to be honest. I, I do think two things is happening. I think Drake is in an interesting period. But I do think the music industry is in an industry, interesting period. Um, I think the reason why Drake doesn't have a song on the Billboard Hot 100 is because Drake hasn't been entertaining or or not entertaining. Well, entertaining, but that's that wasn't the end of the sentence. Drake ain't been fucking with his label like that. Okay, no. which is kind of odd because they Come gave on. him 400 million dollars, <laughs> right? <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> Character matters. It matters. Telling the truth matters. Being a good person matters. This is vindication for a lot of people. <laughs> Bro, like, I just don't understand this. I really don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand. Just say the man fell off. Like, I've been saying this for a long time, but I don't understand why for the life of me. They just don't say the man fell off. He fell off. He can work his way back up, but he fell off. Just, just admit it. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Drake has been doing his own thing ever since this whole beef with, and, and he's always kind of done his own thing. I want to be very fair to him. You know, I, I've just heard notoriously Drake hits up his label a week or two out saying I'm ready to drop and if they had other releases they move those releases back unless they tell him you know obviously he's with Republic if they tell him your your big dog Taylor's dropping of course and he's and rap that like he would change his shit but everybody else just moves out of the way for Drake that's how he usually operates with his label ever since his beef with Kendrick he's operated even less with them like almost almost like Niggas moving like he's an independent artist. And that, I guess that's my question. Why? Why has he did that? Why is that? His, his, his contract didn't change. 
why is he moving differently with his label? Is it because his label told him not to drop nothing until like that or not like us kind of settles down? I think that not like us being with being so popular and being normalized. I think not like us, it not only hurt Drake, but it actually put Drake out of a commission. That's what I'm thinking. And maybe that's the reason why this label is looking at it like, well, we can't have you doing anything because that song still has legs. And if you do something and then, I don't know, let's say Kendrick does something else, that song is going to resurface again. We have to wait till this thing dies down and it's winter time and it's still there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me give you a really just honest breakdown of what I really thought, I really think. I think the music industry's fucked a bit. I think Drake is a little bit distant from what he, he hasn't committed to dropping anything and he's testing out the waters, but it doesn't look good for him, right? It doesn't look good for him because what we have realized and, you know, whether you want to call this a knock and this is where the K-Bots are like, we're going to clip this. I can't wait till he say it. we're going to clip it. It's fine. It's like we're watching Superman bleed. Like this is, and, and, and I hope you understand the, anal the analogy. Like Kendrick and Drake have never been com in comparison to potency on the charts. Kendrick and even Cole. They've never been compared. Like this guy's like literally, like he's twice or three times bigger than both of them. Okay, so that, that statement is kind of like subjective. Because you could be bigger than someone, right? But at the same time, it could be meaningless. So when he says stuff like, he's three times bigger than them, then you have to ask yourself, okay, so what do they have that makes them compete with him? So even if Drake is three times bigger than him, you're talking popularity wise. But if we're talking accolades wise, he's not. Kendrick is bigger than him when it comes to accolades. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to uh, record sales, obviously Drake sold millions. He sold 30 million. But again, I always use this same analogy. If you have Kendrick, Drake has what? I believe he has about 10, 11, 12 albums. I don't know exactly how many he has, but I just can't remember off the top of my head. I believe it's like 12 or 13 albums, right? All together. Kendrick only has five. Kendrick has about between eight, I believe eight to, between eight and 10 million platinum records. Drake has, I believe, 30 to 32. Five albums versus 12. If Kendrick was the head came out with the same amount of albums as Drake, he would have surpassed Drake. That's the thing. So this is what, what academics and a lot of these people are not admitting. You saying that he's three times bigger, but that means nothing if the quality of work isn't good. He only really has four to five songs that are major hits. All the other songs are just on the on the billboards. Doesn't make them hits. And on top of that, all of his songs are off the top 100. So that means that also what I'm what I'm really trying to say is just because you are a big artist doesn't really mean anything. Because there are some artists that's bigger than Drake that you never even heard of. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, I'll give you an example. Like in the Philippines, the Philippines has so many people. So you have to also go by region too. There's some not a lot of things that they're not admitting. So let's just say Drake is big. Let's say Drake is big in um in um and let's say he's big in 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 uh in Canada and in, in uh what's the name? But they don't know him in the Philippines. And there's like uh ten billion people or five or two billion people in the Philippines. They have an artist in the Philippines. That one artist is popular. 
Now we talking regionally. Yeah, of course Drake is bigger, but if we're talking like from a certain region, then yeah, that artist would be bigger than Drake because he has more people who know him in his country. That's all I'm saying. So it's just, to me, it's a weird thing to say that he's three times bigger than these artists, but, and not admit that the reason why, you know what I'm saying? He has a hundred songs on it. If you, if you throw, if Kendrick was to throw out a hundred songs a year, then obviously he'd just be as big as Drake too. You know what I'm saying? So but let's keep it going. These days we're seeing Superman bleed because we're seeing Drake is human, right? What does that mean? Without his label, without a planned release, he can't just get up like he used to do and just be like, yo, three pack out at midnight, run it up. And, and what I mean by that work, we're not talking about him being number 25, which by the way, would be fine for every other artist. That would be amazing for every other artist, but we're talking about Drake. That I just said that yesterday. This is the reason why hip hop is where it's at. If it was another artist that uh, was in the top uh, 25, typically this is what they would say. Well, Drake, him being 25 is a big deal because he's so used to being one or two. And it's like people are obsessed with numbers. This is the reason why hip hop music hasn't has, has been in the same stagnant situation the last five years because people are just obsessed with numbers. Oh, I need this to be number one or I want to run this up. It has to be one. It's like if it debuts, it has to debut at number one. It's like, is the song good though? Like, is the song good? If you're just trying to run it up, okay. But you, to me, when you get to a certain level, you got to have good music. That's how I'm looking at it. And if you don't have good music and you still just putting out anything it's just not gonna work for me drake is a guy when he drops we expect him to be in the top 20 top 10. drake at this moment i don't think that's where he's at i think he's cognizant of that let me ask this question i think if drake doesn't do 300 with him and party he looks human and, and and i have to keep saying human because drake had a run i would say for since 2013 he had a 11 year run where he well actually really 2012 because it started with the feature run where he was just he's issuing the stimmies right when my boy was issuing the stimmies it's over so 12 year run of seeming like he wasn't human there's no other artist and i mean absolutely none in hip-hop that has been that potent there is no kendrick lamar stimulus package there is no j cole stimulus package there is no even Nicki minaj stimulus package and when we're talking about stimulus package i'm not saying that them being on someone's record doesn't help but drake has been known to bring you to the moon drake or was it more was it more the reason why he brought you to the moon because you helped him with a style that he never even knew existed see i don't really subscribe to this whole thing that this drake stimulus package i understand but I also understand that it takes two to tango. I think they they looking at it from the point of view of, well, it's Drake's name. But I'm looking at it from the point of view of, well, it's the artist. The artist movement is what put Drake where he's at. Because there's times where you threw anybody on a song with Drake doesn't mean that they were successful. Because there's a lot of songs that Drake was on with people that didn't go nowhere. So it had to be something about that artist that put them, that put him where he was at. Just because he has the bigger name, that doesn't mean anything. If the music, if the music is centered around 
the style of the artist, how can you say that it's Drake? You got to say, well, the artist helped Drake get there. That's just my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm just saying. But either way, let's keep it going. Has been responsible for a lot of the world knowing a huge amount of artists just by how much he was doing the world star effect Drake's Demi Pat. Like, we're talking about Young Blue. We're talking about um, Blot Boy JB. We're, we, we have a list of artists that I don't even think. But see, some of these people that you're naming, nobody really knows these people still. Like, nobody, okay, a couple of people know Block Boy JB, but nobody really knows this dude. If I ask the average person on the street who the hell Block Boy JB is, they're going to not know. It's like, that's another thing, too. A lot of these Drake, these Drake stands or these Drake dudes be living in delusional world. They think that everybody that Drake did something with, they're superstars. Or they're like, they're not. They're not, they're not superstars, bro. You know what I'm saying? They're not. And a lot of them are only in, in, and I will admit this, even though Drake took, you know, take some of their styles or whatever, most of them are only known because they was on Drake's song or, or Drake was on their song. That's it. There's no other reason why. It's like, come on, bro. Like, I get it. Some of these people might be popular where they live at, but uh, the average person don't know who Block Boy JB is, bro. Like, let's be clear here. The average person don't know who he is. There's any other artist in rap that even has two or three. And Drake has probably close to 20. So if you think about that, and this is what I always say, because here's the thing when I when I have to criticize Drake, because I do have to criticize him. Like, that's my fucking job. What do you think I'm just, oh, he's just, no, no, I'm going to have to criticize him when I need to. But my criticisms of Drake is saying that Drake is Drake's com competition numbers wise was never Kendrick. Like he's outclassed that guy in every way, shape or form. J. Cole too. Drake is competing with his former self. So that's why I use the terminology where, where we might be watching Superman bleed. Now it's going to be some people who actually This, this that's a this again that's a lopsided argument it's like you can you comparing kendrick to drake but kendrick has less material than him again if these guys were at the same time and they were out all the if they if they both dropped every time it'd be something different i just think that a lot of people just want to make it just and, it's, and listen i'm not a, i'm not I'm not actually sitting here disrespecting Drake by saying that he's not a big artist. He's absolutely a big artist. He's one of the biggest artists ever. But I'm saying there's other things that you got to factor in. You can't just sit here and say that because, and it's like you always want to use uh, uh, J. Cole and Kendrick. You know what I'm saying? Drake's a pop star. So obviously he's much, he's going to be much more popular than these dudes when it comes to his popularity. But outside of that, it's much more that goes into this. And they're not saying that. Let me see what, what this guy says. I believe I was crying because some of y'all really think I'm just this Drake gobbler. Just, I'm all over Drake like uh, T.D. Jakes. Swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? But let's be honest. Everybody has a time when they're not as hot as they were yesterday. But the first question is, and I don't know if Ak ever addressed this point because he started going on a long rant about numbers and talking about, you know, the behind the scenes with the industry and stuff like that. So I didn't catch every bit of it. But do y'all think this low for Drake has anything to do with Kendrick and the beef? And if you ask me, I think it's a small percentage that's there. But I also think 
over time, if Drake comes back and he releases some good music that people can gravitate to, some of those numbers will inch back up. But also we have to add in, and this is the same thing we're going to say about J. Cole in a few minutes. We're going to say the same thing about Kendrick in a few minutes. All of these guys are pushing 40. And I know J. Cole, Future, Drake, Kendrick, they seem so young and vibrant and, you know, a part of the culture. But at a certain time, the younger audience is going to take over and they're going to say, those guys are not hot anymore. They too old. It's a transition that's coming. I just don't think it's going to officially be here until maybe the next five years. Like, we'll really be able to have that conversation in about five years. Okay, so I hate to tell you this, but you're wrong about that. And I'll explain. So, look. Most of the artists, well, the big artists are actually over 50. Jay-Z is over 50. Eminem is over 50. Nas is over 50. And I think Ross is is pushing 50. I don't think he's over 50, but he's pushing 50. The thing is, they matured. Drake never matured. The reason why Drake is having this thing, and it is, it's absolutely directly because of Kendrick. The reason why Drake has fell from grace is because he was exposed. He got exposed. Not, n- not like, I mean, he got exposed never like this before. He got exposed. You have to say, you can't say it's a percentage. They had a battle. His career wasn't the same afterwards. You can't say... That, well, the reason why is because you 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 fall off. Well, my thing is, how come after this battle, why Drake didn't bounce back right away? He could have. He could have dropped the album right away. He could have kept rapping. He could have did some new music. He didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. So you can't sit here and say that you believe that that wasn't that. Number two, they are or they are pushing 40. But there are rappers who Jay-Z, Nas, and Eminem who are in their 50s and they still putting out amazing work. Now, if you're saying in the scope of these young kids are not following the trend, rap is not a young man's sport anymore. I wish I understand this. All the successful rappers are over 30, over 35, and... They chart more than the younger rappers and, and they have better material and they have better material to have more longevity. That's just that. It's just that me personally, five, I would say 10 years ago, Drake should have started transitioning to him making, making more mature music. Since Views, he still has been doing the same thing. He's still doing the same thing. So I get what you're saying, but at the same time, you're, you're absolutely wrong about that. There are artists who are actually much bigger, but let's see what he got, the rest of what he got to say, and then we're going to take it from there. Because those four artists I just named, even though they're pushing 40 or almost 40, I think Future might be 40. They're still just so attached to the culture I don't feel like they're going to just disappear tomorrow. Now, also, when Ak is talking about the comparison in numbers when it comes to his peers, let's just be real. Like he said, Kendrick and J. Cole, when it comes to numbers, you know, you know, we can have this debate about talent all day. If you ask me, I feel like they all on the same level of talent, oh, okay. even though Drake might have. I gotta stop that. Let me let me see what you say after that, cause let me see what you say. When it comes to numbers, you know, you know, we can have this debate about talent all day. If you ask me, I feel like they all on the same level of talent, 
even though Drake might have more range when it comes to putting out good quality music that might not be in the hip hop genre, I think just when it comes to rapping and hip hop, they're all on the same level. I know some of y'all will say, oh no, so and so is better than this one, but I'm just saying number wise, they they were never in the same competition as Drake. And and again, this is the argument that every Drake fan falls on. They always fall on the number argument because that's the only argument that they have. They, they, they're so crazy because they don't even fall on the argument of whether he has classic albums or really good music. They just fall on the argument of, well, he has a lot of, a lot of, uh, he sold a lot of records. It's like, if you are a real hip hop historian or you're a real hip hop head, one of the major things that most people went against was, pop rap rapping bullshit when you jump up and say stuff like this it kind of makes me it kind of looks makes me look crazy make me look at you crazy because i'm like well is that your argument then why so why is your argument more uh why is your argument more uh how would i say uh reliable than my argument my argument is the talent your argument is the numbers why is it that your argument supersedes mine when the talent is the one that keeps the music around? The numbers is okay. Okay, you have numbers, but what is the numbers doing for you right now? Those numbers mean nothing. They're doing nothing for you right now because none of those songs that you're saying are number one or was the, was the greatest numbers that he had, they're not even charting. So those numbers mean nothing. You have to keep it. And the only way you can keep it if you do something with longevity longevity is what keeps thing around I, I don't know man i just sometimes i think people just they just have to argue just to argue to argue but make sure y'all go subscribe to his page yeah man shout out to never man never i uh, never gave up he always has some great content all that good stuff but yeah i think that's the number thing with with uh when it comes to uh drake Everybody just jump. They falls back. They fall back on the numbers. And a lot of times, it's like he oh, Drake is so oversaturated. He has so much material out there in the world that people they totally forget what where the song came from and where and what where it came from, what year it came out, because he puts out so much material, so much. And that's why I say that it's it it's popularity versus talent. You know what I'm saying? And to me. Talent is always going to win. You know what I mean? You can't say that they're on the, you can't say, well, these guys are on the same level and they're not on the same level when it comes to talent. No. I don't care what none of y'all say. Kendrick is light years ahead of them dudes. Light years ahead. So, either way, man, that's the show. See y'all at six o'clock, man. Y'all have yourself a good afternoon. Go get a double cheeseburger extra mayo and ketchup with some fries you ever had an italian cheeseburger if you any of y'all know what italian cheeseburger is make sure y'all put that in the chat if you know what italian cheeseburger is put it in the chat you know what i'm saying if you don't yeah i'll explain it to y'all when i come on next time all right see you peeps <laughs>